What comes to mind when you see Shikoswe, Zambia? At the African Education Program, we see the homes of energetic, creative, and shining leaders. Nestled in the heart of this community is AP's flagship after-school learning and leadership center, known as Amos Youth Center. Since 2006, we have operated on the belief that when these young leaders believe in themselves, they can create change beyond our wildest imagination. Today, with over 400 youth currently in the program, AP has grown significantly but the walls of the center have not. This rented space limits access to our sought after programs, as well as the amount of time the AP team can spend with our young leaders each day. To adapt, the AP team facilitates activities and tutoring sessions outside where conditions can range from hot and dusty to torrential rains. Walk through the front entrance and you arrive in the main activity space and small library. This is where the youth learn computer skills and have fun activities during art club, creative club, and one up for girl power. To the left is the small kitchen where, before the pandemic, 230 hot meals were cooked each day. Without a dining area, however, everyone eats standing up outside. Back inside, follow the hallway to the small administrative office key to AP's financial accountability and transparency. Two small classrooms are where the rest of AP's activities take place, like boys talks. AP's special education program, Read for Rose, operates from another small rented space which makes it a challenge to have integrated and inclusive learning. AP's vision is to build a learning and leadership center where the young leaders can thrive even more. A space where each and every day they can discover their dreams, unlock their ability to reach their full potential, and become leaders eager to create change in their communities. To accomplish this vision, a pro bono team of architects has designed a custom, innovative, eco-friendly, and fully accessible center to be built on the land donated by the Kafua District Council. The front entrance leads us right into the heart of the building, the library. Our young leaders will have access to a specially curated collection of books as well as tablets and computers in the multimedia lab next door. The rest of this block will be home to an open plan office for the AEP team. On the other side of the central courtyard is the education block. In addition to multi-purpose learning spaces, there is a STEM classroom, art classroom, special education learning spaces, and nurses station. On the left of the education block is the dining facility and industrial kitchen where AP's nutrition program will no longer have to depend on charcoal for cooking and everyone can eat sitting together in the dining area. Finally is the community hall that can be transformed into anything from an indoor gymnasium to a concert space. AP plans to have 100% of its electricity needs be met by solar panels and the building has a rainwater collection and storage system. This new learning and leadership center will enable AEP to increase access for young Zambian leaders and deepen the richness of experiences that we provide. We will go from being able to host only 50 young leaders at one time to over 300. We know that with this new center, AAP's young leaders can truly soar. By having unlimited access to inspirational resources, we know that we will foster an environment that will unleash their ability to believe in themselves and become the leaders their communities deserve. As we like to say, when kids believe in themselves,